Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1036. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Oh, we got a great one here. Um, we have to do adding with two criteria, but it's not really two criteria. We need DK, N, EU, and non EU, but uh, DK is made up of these three categories that are here. So to get the calculation for is it billable DK, we have to say, is anything in here equal to this or that or that or that or that, just in case there's some extras. So one way to look at this is that since we have a GG and HH and an S, we could highlight this column, this column, and the S column, three separate columns. And then within each one of these columns, then are you equal to billable? True. Are you equal to billable? That would be false. That would be false. That would be true. So if we were to do this manually, that's what it would look like. We have to isolate these three columns, right? And then within that, check for all the values if they're billable, and then add. All right. Let's start off with the match. Now, we, in essence, are trying to find these in here. Are any of these equal to these? But check this out. For the lookup array, I'm going to highlight this whole range right here and hit the F4 key. So our lookup value is getting an array of values. It usually expects a single value. We're giving it a bunch of values. That means match will spit out a bunch of answers. In fact, an answer for each one of these position or not. So the lookup array, oh, we're only going to look up here those. Now this particular array, when we copy the formula down and over, it's got to be locked for this column, but it moves over. The dancing ants have to move. So we're going to do mixed cell references and lock. I'm hitting the F4 key one, two times. I'm going to lock the row reference so it's locked when I go down. But to the side, the B will move to C. Now. These are not sorted, so we're going to use exact match. Now let's highlight this and see what it gives us F9 key to evaluate. Sure enough, it gives us an NA for all the times it didn't find it. Now the 1, 2, 3 are not really the positions here. It would, If we were doing positions here, it would be 2, the second column, third column, and whatever that is, the, the eighth column. But no problem, we have a pattern. There's numbers and then errors. And that, within this array, can help us with trues isolate which ones match our OR criteria, in essence. So Control-Z. Around that, I'm going to put our is number. So is numbers will convert the errors to false and the numbers to true. I'm going to hit F9. Now, look at this. We have an array of trues and falses that's the same size as this. Now, ultimately, we're after all of these numbers. But check this out. Control Z, just look at that same dimension here. I'm going to multiply this times a conditional array calculation. I'm going to say, is anything in this range equal to billable? Now, if we were to multiply this set of column headers times this row headers, if we directly multiply it using the multiplication operation, it'll give us an array of trues and falses the same size as that. So I'm going to Control Z. I'm going to multiply this directly times, is anything in this column F4 equal to the row header for this cross tabulated table? Now, we have to think about this. When I copy it to the side, it needs to be locked on billable. Well, when it copies down, it needs to move to chargeable. So I'm going to hit the F4 key three times and lock the column, but not the row. Now let's check this out. I'm going to highlight this. And F9. Sure enough, it is given just what we want. EW is not in our category, so there's a 0 there. 1, because GG, and billable. So there's a 1, and there's a 1 for HH. If we keep going, in array syntax, commas mean go across the columns. Semicolons, when we get to 1, means go down to the next row. So you see this? That 1 right there represents the S, billable. Finally, when we get down to the semicolon, it means go down to the next row. So that one is not matched. Doesn't look like anything in here is matched. We finally get to the 1, 2, 3, 4. So this would be the fourth row. Then we see that pattern 0, 1, 1. Now I'm going to Control-Z. Now I'm going to put this 
That gives us an array the same size of that uh, uh, that it contains ones and zeros. So I'm going to put this inside of sum product. Now, why couldn't we have put these two dimensions inside of sum product as array one, array two? Because in order to be used in sum product, the two arrays, that array and this array, would have to have the same dimensions, and they don't. But the resultant array there, F9, is exactly the same as that, Control Z. So I'm simply going to multiply those, that array of zeros and ones times all of this. F4, close parentheses in that formula, will add with this criteria and this sort of like or criteria of any of you equal to those, and get up, gather up all the numbers and mm -hmm. add them. So I can copy this down and over. And instead of our usual you know, row header and column header, we have row header and then a, a column range with our criteria up there. That was a fun video. We'll see you next video.